another rainy day here in wonderful South Side, South Central Virginia. I'm so tired of it. I can't even get all my work done because it's constantly raining and people won't work done. And luckily everybody understands, but I think y'all all get the idea. So anyway, um, bunch of customers, bunch of academy guys have been asking, why has my yard got all these yellow leaves in it this year? A um, few reasons. One, we had an abnormally cold November. Uh, we don't normally have Novembers with temperatures that low. And we had some pretty hard frost. Um, I, I rode through going to work a few days and I saw frost, you know, on the roofs. It looked like snow. Uh, another reason that we have this right now is because, again, so much rain. It's, it's literally leaching everything out of the soil. And when it's not leaching out of the soil, the plants are just struggling right now to survive because they can't breathe through the roots. They're practically, in a sense, I'm not going to say they are drowning, but in a sense they are drowning because they can't exchange oxygen down to the roots. <clears throat> Another thing that's happening, if you look at my yard, i got quite a bit of yellow in it just like everybody else. You know, if we, um, if we get down here, and you can see the yellow. Um, but this blade here is of particular interest to me because... If you look at it, and you look down that edge there, you see that, that yellow banding, okay? Let's see if I can find another blade to show the same thing. Um, here we go, right here. Again, see the yellow banding? This can be an indicator for potassium deficiency. Um, What's, what's going on right now with the soil is the plant intercepts nutrient at the colloid, which is the particle of soil, but it also has to get nutrient from what's called the, the soil solution, which is a combination of soil and, and water that has kind of pulled that nutrient off the colloid or has pulled the nutrient down in the ground. What has happened is, because of all this excessive rain, um, I suspect that that has actually caused that to kind of wash down into the soil deeper and get past the root zone, and the plant now is, is having a deficiency. Does this bother me this time of year? Absolutely not. The plant is kind of in a dormant state right now. It's kind of normal for grass to have that yellowish look because of the time of year. But, um, if you want to correct the issue, you may be able to, to an extent. Remember, the plan is dormant right now. Everything's cool. Metabolism is not working as, as well as it should. Photosynthesis is not working as well as it should. Um, all of these play into the fact of that even if we gave this plant some potassium right now, we're going to get a little bit of a response possibly, but we're not going to get a tremendous amount of response because there is nothing there to actually process the nutrients. If you did want to make the correction, it would need to be a liquid fertilizer with the last number having a good amount in it. So something like a 14 or 20, 24, 29, so it would be like a you know, uh, um, 15, 5, 29, or 15, 5, 14. The last number is your, your potash. So, just wanted to kind of take a minute and show everybody what's going on here, why it's happening, what's causing it. There is no disease right now. That it's too cold for diseases. Yes, there are a few diseases that happen when it's, it's cold, uh, like snow mold, but right now there's just nothing that's going to be happening at least in this area so hope that helps some of you stay tuned i got a pretty big video coming here soon about calculating fertilizer and how to to adjust your soil based on your pa or your not your ph excuse me your soil sample so stay tuned and see what we come up with have a good day